Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni and in this video I have brought you an interesting aspect of writing skill that is email writing. Email writing has become an essential communication tool in today's world. It allows us to connect with people in different parts of the world instantly without any physical barriers. Almost 300 billion emails are sent each day. According to the statistics, the number of worldwide email users is expected to reach 4.46 billion by 2024, whether it's for personal or for professional reasons, email has become an integral part of our daily lives. From sending formal documents to casual communications, email offers a wide range of uses. In this video, we will learn how to write an effective email, either formal email, or informal email, we'll also have a discussion that which are the different elements of an email. So before that, let's know the meaning of an email. Email writing is a process of composing and sending electronic messages via the internet or the computer networks. It involves crafting a message that conveys information, uh, sorry, information, request, or idea in a clear and concise manner using appropriate language and formatting. Then let's know about the, the important elements of an email, the components of an email. The email consists, number one, the two address. That means to say the recipient's email ID, whom we are writing, the person's email ID we need to type. Then we have here two important terminology, which are optional, CC and BC, BCC. CC means to say the carbon copy, means the other people, they are also receiving the email with the visible email ID. You are sending the email to the master person, the master receiver, by typing the email ID in the two address, address bar. At the same time, you're writing some more email IDs in the CC box, carbon copy, where the other people will also receive, other people will also receive the same email ID and the person, the master person whom you have sent, he will also come to know that you have you have sent the same mail to those. It's like an acknowledgement. Similarly, we have here BCC. Here, other people receiving the mail with hidden email ID. If you send to the BCC, this BCC will never come to know about each other. The BCC, the people who are getting the email through this BCC option, blind carbon copy, they won't come to know the other's email ID. On the other hand, in the CCC, in the CC, the other, the other receivers will also come to know the other's email ID as well. But in blind carbon copy, only and only the receiver's email ID will reflect. I hope it's quite more clear now. Then you have here subject line. You have to mention the subject line. The subject line, that means to say the title of the email, like a phrase or a one line, that's regarding the main purpose. Then in the, in the body of the email, you need to begin the email with the greetings, saying like, hi, hello, dear sir, dear madam, respected sir, respected madam, dear Mr. Sharma, dear Mr. Mukesh, dear miss, like this. Then main body. You are the introduction, begin with some introduction, end with the concluding line. Then there's a symbol of attachment where you can attach the document. If you click on the symbol of attachment, that will take you to the source file, where the, wherever the file is on in your system, and it will get attached. Then there is a signature. You need to a signature in the sense you cannot sign, though we, cannot, we, though we can also attach here the digital signature nowadays. Before that, we need to mention the salutation like thanks, regards, best regards, kind regards, your name under it. You can also add here designation like coordinator, um, HR manager, then next to that your name. So these are the important elements or the components of an email. To repeat, to address CC, BCC, they are the optional in the CC. Everybody will come to know each other's email ID. It's like an acknowledgement to the master person. Then BCC, though they are receiving the mail, but they don't know the other's email ID whom it has been posted. Then subject line in the body of the letter, in the body of the email, greeting, main body, ending, signature, 
then attachment. So these are the important components of an email. Now you can look at this screen here. Uh, there's an example here that like from address, it's by default uh, system generated. Then two, you need to write the receiver's email ID. Then the date will also appear by default. Then subject, very concise. In the body of the email, dear sir, dear respected sir, uh, respected sir, madam, dear sir, madam, the body of the email must contain complete sentences. You don't write any phrases. Each topic should be told or asked in a new paragraph. You want to say something extra information, new information, begin with the new paragraph. Use the phrases like, please let me know when the, there is a, there's a need of any reply. Right. If you are asking for any work to be done, kindly do it, please. So use the very polite expressions. Then close your your email with the expressions regard. That's called regards, best regards. By this is called complimentary close. And finally, your name, your designation has to be mentioned. Or if any attachment, you can attach any document. Now, how to write a professional email? So we need to understand some, some sort of uh, some important guidelines. Number one, start with an interesting subject line. The subject line is a short message that is displayed before the contents of the email, which is visible in the, in, in the inbox. It summarizes the intention of your email in usually seven to eight words. Moreover, a subject line helps the recipient to quickly identify your email in the inbox. So for example, uh, the subject line can be like this, minutes from today's meeting. You can mention the subject line or you can also mention update on developments on so-and-so project. So very catchy, very brief. And this subject line will reflect in your email inbox. Second guideline we have here, give greetings. Begin your email in the, uh, in the body of the email. You should begin it with some greetings. So ideally, you must include the recipient's name. If you are aware of it, if you are not aware, you can start with the dear sir, madam. If you are struggling to abide by like gender neutral approach, then in such case of like women, prefix their name like saying miss or mister, most importantly. Um, then... For example, you can say here, dear Miss Jesse, dear Mr. Arjun. So like this, you can start with the greetings. Then you have here, write with the core email body. Means to say, write the core email body means this section holds the key information. After greetings, whatever you're writing, that's a key information that requires a recipient's focus. Means to say, who is whoever, to whom, whoever you're writing, you need to focus the person here, write it detailed, yet the message should describe your intention. And it's very much imperative to be mindful of the time your reader may need to understand the intention of the email. Don't write a bulky information. You should think that if somebody is reading my email, should not consume much time. So you need to keep in mind the time duration as well, the time management of the reading time management. For example, this email is in reference to my job application at Fine Foods International. I have received my interview results. I'm glad to embrace this opportunity. So you can start your email in such a manner. Next, include a closing line. The closing line is usually where you can place a call to action or inform the reader of the next steps. You can consider the ways to avoid forcing them to respond to you. So don't force them to respond. Instead, write your line in such a way that they feel inspired or they motivate, they get motivated to take action. A best practice is to find ways to continue the conversation, whether that is through the email or in person. For example, you can say, we can chat about this on-call interview after tomorrow afternoon, or if you could update me on this, I would really appreciate it. So you're not forcing, you're requesting. So up next we have here, the last segment we have, end with a signature. Signature means to say your name. So being the very last section of your email, the signature maintains a sense of neutral authority or the professionalism. Remember, don't 
leave your email without signature without your name etc so it usually includes your complete present professional identification by name your job position your company name phone number possibly you can also mention any alternative email id address email address so uh, ensure that you begin your signature with like sincerely best regards yours truly so nowadays we have one more function and not only nowadays there's a there's an interesting function in the email that you can have your predefined uh, signature column where your name etc that will appear automatically secondly uh, many bankers or many uh, professionals they use the digital signature so that is also uh, one of the most important feature you can apply to your email uh, to your email inbox content so you can use the words like best regards your name your designation your company name or any of the your phone number etc you can mention so these are the key important information before draft before you draft the mail you can keep in your mind last but not the least very important proofread your email double check double check the tone of the voice of your email it should always be polite because it's a legal document remember you cannot revert you can you can do the delete for everyone in your whatsapp message but you cannot do the delete for everyone once you click on the send button when the once the email is sent you cannot revert it you cannot make a correction it's done so double check the tone of your voice to tone the tone of voice of your email always establish a neutral tone that helps the reader concentrate and craft a reply that you are expecting an email that is free of spelling and the grammatical errors is always easier for others to read and comprehend that means to say there should not be any kind of grammatical error in your email check two three times so the it moreover it should be readable in a very simple english simple language should be uh, employed whenever you are drafting the email so now we can say that to some of we can say here there are few professional guidelines like sub, like your subject line right concisely it always convey your purpose of writing greetings always include a greeting the font size avoid the ornate font size you can use like calibri or arial you can use uh, the most preferably we always use the times new roman then the length of the email keep it as concise as possible uh, like uh, emoticons avoid such kind of emoticons and moreover spelling check the spelling number of times spelling grammatical errors edit carefully before you send if you are very uh, if you are sending e emails at a very initial stage you don't have much experience i would say that first you type your email content in the ms word go through the grammar check then afterwards you copy paste in the inbox so once you do this practice three four times then obviously in the days to go you will have a proficiency in drafting email so now uh, there's an example of an email on your screen here discount offer email subject line a special discount is waiting for you inside very catchy subject line hi manish hi everybody thank you so much for being a customer of um, of uh, mukesh soni and company it's because of it's because of people like you we have been able to be in business for such a long time to thank you we have created a discount coupon especially for you use the code to get a discount of so and so amount 20% 10% from any product in our store so you can link here you can link your shop link as well but hurry this offer is only av available for the first customer or for the first 20 people who make this purchase thank you your sign your name your designation etc so you can see here each and every important information is given in each and simple paragraphs all right it's not like a bulky paragraph which starts from one end and uh, which starts from one end and uh, completes on the other end you can see the first is a greeting then thanking then some information then some discounts and the last line is here very appealing line then thanking note then signature so this is how you need to design you need to craft your email content so now uh let's have i'm going to have a discussion here the two important uh, ways of uh, 
email writing like formal email and the informal email so informal email we have a topic here expressing your appreciation so always you need to type here the two address that is the receiver's uh, email address so abc at gmail.com etc subject congratulations dear mr mukesh my heartfelt body of the email my heartfelt congratulations to you i was glad to see your name on the merit list all your hard work was definitely not in vain i bet everyone at home is so proud of you you have truly made the family proud i'm happy that you would get the take up the course in architecture that you are dreaming of i'm waiting to meet you in person to convey all my love and appreciation convey my regards to my uncle aunt and grandpa regards nitesh so this is very informal email so in the examination you need to you need to draft the email in such a manner in this manner only you need to write the two address the receiver's email id right uh, so you can write in the examination abc at, at the rate of gmail.com pqr at the rate of gmail.com then subject then the content then you conclude it by regards best regards and the name of the writer name of the sender we have one more example here email about trip the informal email so my dear mukesh i am very excited to write to you about the long tour which we are planning we are planning along with my parents we'll be leaving on the 29th of this month we'll be away for 3 months we are going to chennai for an official meeting which my father has to attend we would then be traveling to bangalore to visit our cousins we would stay there for a month after that we would be going to hyderabad it has always been my dream to visit charminar in hyderabad at least once in my lifetime and my parents have finally agreed to take me there i will definitely write to you all about my trip all the different places we visit the variety of food we eat and the people we meet it would have been even more special if you had come along with me we will make sure we plan our we plan our trip once i'm come back we plan our own trip there's a spelling error with best wishes john so this is again a very informal mail between two friends so now formal emails formal emails few formal sample uh, few formal emails here the sample number 1 email on introducing a new employee to your team so again the two address subject meet the new customer service representative dear team i am pleased to introduce you to sheila who is starting today as a customer service representative she will be providing technical support and assistance to our users and making sure they enjoy the best experience with our products feel free to greet sheila in person and congratulate her on the new role best regards mukesh hr sri logistics limited so this is a one sample of formal email another sample we have here email on official intimation of resignation very difficult way to write it's very very difficult very painful to write in uh, resignation email so again the two address the hr address subject resignation and dear sir madam i am planning to pursue my higher studies in the coming academic year and hence i would like to inform you of my intention to resign from the post of technical assistant in your company effective 3 months from now i appreciate the opportunities for the growth and the development you have provided during my association with sri logistics private limited it was indeed a privilege working here and it was a valuable experience here work experience which has helped me grow personally and professionally to a great extent please accept this letter as a formal intimation of my resignation thank you for your guidance and support yours sincerely sheila so this is one of the very official email when you are resigning so this is one of the formal emails so like this you can write the formal email and the informal email using this format even in the examination also you can follow this format so to sum up we can say here there are few important tips uh, for email drafting remember email drafting is an art and don't forget it is the most important part of your job you cannot you cannot run away 
from this it is the heart of any of the job so most important first tip is here stay updated and avoid using old letter writing formats you need to say you need to update yourself with the new styles of email with the new terminology new business jargons which are being used in today's email context i writing a business emails i writing personal email i writing as an hr so there are few business jargons you need to be very much aware second there is no requirement for mentioning dates when practicing electronic modes of communication so you need not write here because date is always um, by default it will appear formal emails can have indirect questions instead of direct questions could you please help us right so like this always hold your tone politely i have mentioned earlier also never and ever use a threatening language you threaten but in a very polite way you try to threaten uh, it uh, for example uh, i for example you can say that um, i regret to mention that right instead of telling the fan is not working you can say i regret to mention that when we came to know uh, the fan is not functioning so formal complaint should be very eloquent but without losing the nature of professionalism remember your email content should reflect the professionalism always and always so because that's going to hallmark of your work your work your writing skill will always be reflected through the letter writing as well as the email writing so dear friends i hope i have tried to justify it how to draft an email and i have brought here few samples of email which will help you in the examination so thank you so much for watching and keep practicing writing you can make your writing perfect only through the practice 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 makes everyone perfect thank you once again dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukeshenglish@gmail.com please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again